So why would I get pissed off enough about this subject to make now three videos regarding? Well, the first one was my rant. And if you haven't seen that, it's up here. The follow-up to that one had a lot more facts. Uh, had the attorney for the uh, for this group of repeater owners. You have to understand how the state of California works. It always starts out small. One tiny little infringement on your rights over here. One small emergency tax on your water over here. A couple of ham radio repeaters in the middle of nowhere. That's how it starts. And unless you live here in the uh, People's Republic of California, you have no idea how corrupt the state government is here. This is a true one-party state. Uh, the Democrats have created a supermajority uh, through gerrymandering and all kinds of other things, uh, including illegal immigration, because they are allowing illegals to vote. The, uh, the state government represents only L.A. and San Francisco. The rest of the state is basically shut out of the political process. Californians have had a thing called Prop 13 for the past 40 years. Now Prop 13 was a voter initiative and can only be overturned by another vote of the people. What Prop 13 does is it limits the amount of uh, tax increases that the state government or the, uh, or the local government can do to property owners. This is a benefit to not only property owners, but renters because rents remain low for both businesses and households. It benefits the people of California. But the state wanting to increase its tax revenue again. The state attorney general, Javier Becerra, has created a new ballot measure in order to grab up all that excess money that's floating out there. He called this the California School and Local Funding Act. What it doesn't say in the headlines of this ballot measure that's on the ballot right now is that it guts Prop 13 and it enables the state to then go ahead and reassess uh, all the property in California at its current market value, upwards to 1,000 to 1,200% in some cases. The gas tax theft. You know, California has always had some of the highest gas taxes in the nation. And two years ago, the state tricked the people into going for yet another gas tax, which they claimed was going to be set in a lockbox, never to be touched, only for highway improvements and maintenance. Governor Gruesome Newsom very recently signed an executive order. <laughs> Gotta love those. Taking those funds that were in the lockbox and using them for other projects. California's perpetual water crisis. It seems California is always in need of water. So California recently instituted a 55 gallon per person per day water limit. What does this mean for the average Californian and the average California family? Well, hey, if we wanna take showers every day, we don't do the laundry. And if you want clean clothes, you're gonna smell a little worse that day. Ah, California's Prop 47. Yeah, this has worked great. Prop 47 reclassified many crimes in California as misdemeanors, and in a lot of jurisdictions, most misdemeanors don't even get prosecuted. It used to be that if you stole something over $400, it was considered a grand theft, which is a felony in California. Well, California went and made the grand theft threshold now $1,000. So gangs of thieves invade stores all the time now on a daily basis, and each person only steals less than $1,000 worth of stuff, making that each occurrence a misdemeanor. Here's the funny part. California says, well, 
crime has been reduced because a lot of these store owners stopped reporting it to police. So if it doesn't get reported to the police, it didn't happen. Much to the chagrin of small business owners across California, they have an endless line of thieves coming into their stores. Ah, uh, yes. And California has another brilliant idea. They want to let the felons vote from prison. Yay! I can't see anything going wrong with that. California's homeless problem. This is a wholly California created issue where California has incentivized both illegal immigration by stating that we are now a sanctuary state and we are no longer prosecuting quality of life crimes. You have the indigent from all over the country flocking to California for warm weather generous welfare benefits, the ability to uh, to do drugs, shit in the streets, all kinds of things that anywhere else in civilized society we uh, don't accept. Here in California, that's okay. Which brings me to my biggest bitch with the state of California. It's all out war on the Constitution and the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is second only to the First Amendment, freedom of speech, and freedom of religion. Now, I know those of you that are of the socialist persuasion will disagree and say that, uh, you know, you'll say all kinds of weird things, but California already has hundreds of gun laws and is some of the most restrictive in the country. As an example of how insane California gun laws are, California recently passed a law requiring background checks to buy ammunition. To date, more than 60,000 legally eligible people have been denied the right to buy ammunition, any ammunition. Now I realize that this has been a long and arduous video to get through so far, but here is my point. Like grains of sand, a single grain of sand doesn't weigh anything and is nothing more than a minor annoyance if it gets in your shoe. Grains of sand can add up to mountains and mountains can be insurmountable. When I get pissed off about something like this, yet another thing that California is doing to the people, and this was actually something that California did to the people where it figured there would be little to no pushback. They probably honestly thought that there are no ham radio operators in California. 